good. I hope you're well in Christ. And today I have a word from you, from the Lord God Almighty. It comes from the book of Matthew 11, verse 3 to 5. <clears throat> and it says, And said to him, Are you the one coming, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Hallelujah. The Lord bless his word. See in this scripture, it is John the Baptist who was jailed for condemning sin um, against the king. That's a story for another day. And... He had prophesied the coming of the Messiah, but he didn't get a chance to see him um, the first time. So he sent people to confirm whether it was him, and Jesus confirmed that it was him, not just by saying, go and tell him it's me. Confirmed this by telling him the works that he was doing. Hallelujah. See? The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the dead are raised. And this is what the Lord is telling you. Now there are people who the Lord has sent me to encourage. There are people who are undergoing immense hardship. Some financial hardship, they don't have funds to go to school to pay for mortgage. Others are sick with terminal illnesses like cancer and the like. Others have seemingly never-ending mental issues. The Lord God Almighty is saying you should wait for him. He says he's the answer. You may be waiting for this medical breakthrough and there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, medications treat, but it's the Almighty who heals. If you are waiting for another, you're wrong. You may not have acknowledged God or live by his ways but he's still your maker whether you like it or not that's why he says he shines the sun and rains on both the good and the evil he's still your God you're not going to wait for another you know if you're asking is the healing coming or do I wait for another way no the Lord is saying he's coming to you and for you for that healing so shall it be he's on the other end of life just like he's here others you know are wondering is my marriage going to work it's been 18 years of marriage hallelujah am I supposed to go to a witch doctor am I supposed to rebel and start having affairs or what are you waiting for you should wait for the Lord is the one because he has proved himself throughout the world. And for all eternity he'll keep proving himself that he's the healer. He heals marriages. He gives funds for the things that we require. And you should not look for any other. No, any other is from the devil. It's no middle ground. You're either on the Lord's side or on the devil's side. So don't look for Another is the one with all the answers. And I tell you, you may not see this in the mainstream media, but even today, Jesus heals. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead are raised. Up and the poor have the gospel reached to them. And by poor in this case, it means those people who do not know the ways of the Lord. It happens, but since it doesn't fit the agenda of the enemy, you'll never see this in media. I have the privilege of seeing some of these things first hand, so don't look for another. You, you see, our faith is not enough. Like you've seen Jesus speaking about healings and all those other things. If you are a child of God, your faith produces works which are good for the kingdom. James 2, 17 says, So you see, faith by itself isn't enough unless it produces good deeds. It is dead and useless. Hallelujah. Like I tell you, miracles happen every day. Just that you don't know about them. 
And if you do, it, it's not magnified like the things of the world. Mark 16, 17 to 18 says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. I'll ask you, do you speak in tongues? It's a new language. I know people interpret it differently, but that's a teaching for another day. These signs follow. And how do you know that you're following Christ? Apart from all these things that I've mentioned about healings and resurrections, you shall go through tribulations. I know no one loves them, including me. But to prove that you have God, you must have tribulations and trials. Jesus said in this world, you shall have tribulations. But I have conquered them and so shall you. So those are the signs, including tribulations that you go through. So as you sit there and ponder on your next move, what you should do, do not go to the dark side, do not take your life. Do not look for another. You should look for Jesus Christ who has the answers. He may not answer you in the way you like or in the order or in the timing that you want, but he will answer if you call upon him. Be encouraged, folks, and if you need prayer and guidance, speak to us. And until next time, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord cause his face to shine on you and give you peace. Amen.